Tony Khan reveals the real reason for airing the CM Punk Jack Perry footage. Plus, Roman Reigns' WWE return date has been revealed, and we have an update on a major free agent joining WWE. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. So over WrestleMania weekend, AEW got a few headlines in there when they announced that they are going to air the CCTV footage from backstage at Wembley. That moment with CM Punk and Jack Perry that we thought we would never see is on Dynamite tonight. Yeah. You seem... <laughs> that's an intriguing reaction from you, sir. Um, I'm fascinated. I am... I'll be, I'm morbidly curious to morbidly see... Morbidly curious is the word, isn't Not it? only to, first of all, see what the footage is and if they do indeed air the actual footage because everybody's gone, is this going to be a spoof? Is this going to be some sort of being the elite-esque joke? But no, it's since been sort of reported over the course of the week. No, this is going to be the real footage. And we'll talk about the reason for it in a second. But I'm not only intrigued just to see what the footage is, but also to what aim it is used for, if that makes sense. Why are they doing this? What, what's the reason? Well, Tony it? Khan spoke uh, recently to Sports Illustrated about his decision to air the CM Punk Jack Perry footage on Dynamite. He said, the decision is based on putting on the best show for AEW as well as driving interest for Dynamite and our Dynasty pay-per-view on the 21st of April. This is real life footage that affected many people. The Young Bucks are wrestling for the World Tag Team Championships at AEW Dynasty against long-time rivals FTR. Their rivalry is one of the most significant ever in AEW, and there is a good reason why the Young Bucks are showing this video. It is important that the Young Bucks explain the reason why this is relevant going into Dynasty. It should be another must-see part of a great show on Dynamite. The Wrestling Observer has added a few other bits to this as well. Yes, they've said, regarding the thing tomorrow with the footage, the idea is that the footage will be building a future angle for the pay-per-view, presumably related to FTR versus the Bucks and Jack Perry's return turn he's currently been wrestling as part of new japan quite frequently rather than appearing in aw but he's kind of used the whole situation as his gimmick he calls himself the scapegoat now he's hitting moves that the young bucks he did cm punk's macho man tribute elbow recently as well so he's been very much playing into this idea of a return to aw as well in, in the imminent future uh, the wrestling observer continues to say there is a booking reason whether it works or not is best judged after we see it. So that's an interesting one there. So this footage may very well be the catalyst and the reason that we're getting it, the catalyst to bring back Jack Perry uh, as a way of going, this is the reason why he was away. Let's lean into that completely by showing the footage and then have, I guess they're hoping Jack Perry come out as, it, it depends on how he looks in the footage in mm. terms of what he will be presented as, whether he'll be presented as somebody who out wrestled CM Punk, which I mean, you've seen CM Punk's MMA record, that's not difficult, uh, or whether or not he will be presented as like a, I get the scapegoat character, whether that continues, where they go, look, I did nothing as you can see there, and I got all the blame and all the flack. Right. This is the thanks I get, you know, and so they can lean into that. It all depends on what this footage actually looks like. It's strange, isn't it? Because as it's been pointed out by many people, and I'm far from the first person to say this, but a lot of people have pointed out, well, hang on, okay, they, they, it kind of makes sense that they want to use this to build interest for the show and everything, and I'll certainly be tuning in to see what it is, just out of pure curiosity. But at the same time, it's the heels doing this, and yet they're painting CM Punk as the villain of the piece. So why are the heels doing I, I, I don't quite understand how it's going to shake out, but I don't want to judge it too... Mm critically yet until we've seen it because it could it could be a masterstroke and it could feed perfectly into all these different threads or it could be kind of the petty act of a man who's annoyed with an interview CM Punk <laughs> and I don't know which one it's going to be so it'll be interesting to see but I do hope that come Thursday morning I still feel comfortable being a fan of CM Punk <laughs> I don't know what I, in terms of what he could do in this video that would that would damage his reputation. Again, oh, like, we you know, to say, like, oh, what if he looked really rubbish when fighting? Well, we know he's a rubbish real fighter because he had a bad MMA record. He's you a know. rubbish real fighter against other fighters, though. Ah, but, but against I know, other people. It could look, it could make him look really bad in uh, the sort of way that he's been, as, you, as you've suggested, possibly outclassed by Jack Perry in this shoot fight. It could make him look like a liar because the, I'm assuming that's what they're going to try and do, make him look like a liar and it won't match up totally with the story he told Ariel Hawani maybe. Mm. I don't know, but it feels like they're not going to go, bloody hell, look how scary CM Punk is. <laughs> well, we should have kept him. They're not going to do that. <laughs> could you imagine that? Tony, he was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> what if he's backstage having a beer? 
Mm, One yeah. of the funniest shows him having a beer. Straight Edge Punk having a carling. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> a carling. A carling in, of all things. He's imported an English beer. <laughs> well, he was, he was at Wembley, wasn't it? So he was having a pint. Oh, of course. He was yeah, having a pint of carling. Yeah. I don't and know. a pork pie. Uh, I don't know what it could be, but I, I, I feel like even if, because the way, the way that CM Punk kind of provokes... Uh, passionate responses both negatively and positively on both sides of things. He's a very sort of inflammatory figure. Um, I think that no matter what this shows, there'll be people saying it's the worst thing ever for Punk. There'll be people saying it's the worst thing ever for AW. Um, I feel like it's a bit of a lose-lose either way because I don't know what they gain from doing this a week after they've had Edge go out on the show and say, hey, let's just all enjoy AW and be positive. It feels a bit hypocritical to me. Mm, well, whatever it'll be... Edge, Adam Copeland, excuse me. Uh, we knew who you meant, don't worry. Whatever, whatever it will be, it will be whatever, it, whatever it is, it will be that for everyone. It'll be, you know, the, there'll be people who will see it as making CM Punk look great, and there'll be people see it making CM Punk look terrible. Mm. It'll be whatever you want it to be, whatever your confirmation bias tells you it'll be, that's what it will be. I just stay off Twitter. Sorry. I'm gonna give it a wide berth. I'm, I'm gonna look at it, but I won't interact. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah, gonna yeah, look yeah. at it like I'm walking, like I'm driving past a safari. Yeah, okay. that'll be me yeah. tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, there's also been some uh, other scuttlebutt in AEW regarding Forbidden Door uh, and a conversation that started uh, on Andrew Zarian's podcast that uh, has been somewhat pretty much kiboshed by Rocky Romero. Yeah, strange one. So Andrew Zarian reported on his his new podcast, Beyond the Bell, that AEW's annual Forbidden Door event with New Japan, obviously held in conjunction with New Japan, will not be held at Arthur Ashe Stadium, uh, which was the original plan uh, this June. Fightful have added that this was due to New Japan not wanting to split the venue costs with AW. But as Tom's mentioned there, Rocky Romero has kind of debunked this or, or spoken out against it, saying uh, he tweeted, this is not true. So the, so I guess it's one man's word against another So it's, it's whether or not it's, this is not true, the event is not going to be at Arthur Ashe or this is not true, they didn't want to split the costs? Well, I, I'm assuming he means the splitting costs reason, but mm. I'm not 100% sure actually, but it seems like he was in, he was responding to Fightful's claim that the, the, the New Japan not wanting to split costs thing isn't true. That's what he seems mm. to be saying, but we'll have to wait and see. It sounds like it's not going to happen at Arthur Ashe anymore, um, which is a shame because I really like the look of that venue whenever it's been on TV. It's a lovely venue. Yeah. They, always, they always do it that nice. Mm. They really do. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how that shakes out. We will wait and see, and we're waiting to see on what Roman Reigns' next move is. And we've got a rough idea when we may next see him on WWE television. Yes, that's because on WWE.com's events page, it lists featured superstars for each show. Now, this can obviously change at any point, but as it stands, the next TV show Roman Reigns has been announced for on the events page is the SmackDown on August 2nd, which is the go-home SmackDown before SummerSlam. Um, now, this could all change in the future, but for now, it looks as though Roman is taking a bit of an extended break from WWE. He also shared that video on social media as well. Him on a treadmill mm. uh, with the caption, yesterday I mourned, today is day one. Uh, that comes after Triple H teasing us with what he has described as mind-blowing future plans for Roman Reigns. Mm. I, I quite like the idea of this break for Roman, not just because he deserves it uh, and because we've seen him a lot on our screens recently and this gives other people time to shine as well, but in conjunction with what Triple H has said there, it could make whatever is the next chapter of his career even more exciting if it's given a little bit of space from what's just happened. It's also going to be really weird to see him coming out without the title. It will feel weird. That's actually, gonna yeah. feel really weird because yeah. for as long for, for some people's lifespan of wrestling, he has been that champion. Yeah, Ooh. it's gonna feel really cold. But it's gonna feel it's yeah. very strange. Uh, WrestleMania uh, 40 in the books now, and what incredible books WWE have coming out of it. Get some of these right. Uh, as as has been reported by a press release from WWE, it is now the highest grossing event in WWE history with over 145,000 people in attendance across the two nights viewership on last year's wrestlemania up by 41 percent merch sales up by 20 percent on last year one million dollars in merch simply for cody rhodes stuff 
It's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, the <laughs> WWE World at WrestleMania, where we saw uh, The Rock do uh, that Q&A session, where they've held numerous podcasts. Pat McAfee show was there as well. The highest grossing and most attended fan event in WWE history. Yes, even better attended than that one fan fest where they had the gold bust of Stacey Keebler's bottom. <laughs> better attended than that one. The most socially viewed mania of all time, with over 660 million views, 72 million views on their YouTube channel over the weekend as well. Uh, SmackDown, Raw, and NXT uh, posting most attended gates in all three of those shows' histories. Yeah. Massive weekend, well, however you slice it. And I know that the, the kind of the concerted effort to make sure everybody knew watching that this is a new era, the Triple H era, and they're really consciously and deliberately trying to move away from Vince. Uh, and quite cynically, but also rightly, a lot of people have gone, yeah, they're doing that for PR reasons. But at the same mm. time, it's also kind of a new era in terms of the figures. It is It is a new start. It is the start of something big. It feels like, anyway. It feels like a big start. And The Rock was obviously heavily featured throughout the build-up and the event itself. And I, we think that for that reason, among others, he has netted quite the WrestleMania payday. Yeah, so as well as that press release, which had all the impressive uh, results for WWE in terms of viewing figures and gate and everything, uh, TKO issued an SEC statement revealing that they've presented 96,500 558 excuse me shares of stock in the company to Dwayne Johnson. Yesterday, stock market closing price was $97.50, which makes them worth $9 million, $414,405. I've already said dollars, over nine, over nine million nine, dollars, nine and a half million dollars. Now, PW Insider have added if that was connected to The Rock's WrestleMania 40 performances, it's likely one of, if not the biggest, WrestleMania payday of all time. So, not a bad night's work for two nights' work for The Rock. Yeah, two nights. Yeah, he walked out and hit a rock bottom and got choke slammed on the second night. So that's still yeah. a gig. Did the fan fest thing as well? Did that? F- yeah. I mean, I mean, for all the build, I think a, a, a large part of that house is down to the work that The Rock did, among the other cast of characters but yeah certainly a lot of work put in nine million dollars worth of work in shares maybe <laughs> maybe yeah maybe it might be connected the rock has said farewell for a little while he's off to go and do some movie things but Don't you dare break my heart ever again <laughs> it was a strange line we'll find out. yeah but it's it's connected to whatever he handed him i what firmly believe in it what was that? Uh, Crystal Cerveza. They, they panned down and he was holding Oh, it. Cerveza Cristal. Cerveza Cristal, That would have been sorry. unbelievable. That would have been so good. Cody opens his hand, the volume gets louder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it might have been a Beyblade. Let it rip. Oh, because mm. they were Beyblade buddies. Yeah, back at the... Back what if it was a Tamagotchi <laughs> that Cody had to look after <laughs> yeah. and left it to die? Oh, Tamagotchi. Don't break my heart again. Don't break again. my heart ever again. Uh, as Rock says goodbye for a while, one person is saying hello. Yes, uh, Fightful Selective reported that Julia, uh, formerly of Stardom, has agreed to join WWE officially and will finish out her remaining dates, which will include some time in Rossi Ogawa's upcoming promotion. Rossi Ogawa, previously of Stardom as well, he's now branched off to start his own new promotion, which looks like it will, for a little while, involve Julia. William Regal is said to have played a key role in negotiations between WWE and Julia, with Rossi Ogawa also providing uh, also proving to be an important factor in her signing. While asking about what fans could expect to see, uh, when fans could expect to see Julia start with NXT, it's believed she could start at any time, Fightful Select say, and remains in the US. Rossi Ogawa returned to Japan on his Todd. Aww. So she's still there. It could be really soon. She was in the crowd at Stand and Deliver. Yeah, I, and I think the sooner the better. I think she's an excellent asset for NXT. I think that there's a there's a future WWE star there as well mm. after a run through NXT. Mm-hmm. Really excited to see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I mean, there's people out there who know far, far more about Stardom than I do. But when I was kind of watching it the past couple of years and getting to know the roster and everything, uh, the, the depth of talent there is incredible. It's a very, very high bar. Uh, and it's the sort of place where you can be an excellent wrestler, as Julia is, but not maybe quite be top, top tier. What she did have in spades over pretty much every other woman on the roster was that sort of intangible star quality. And I think that's going to be really effective in WWE. Really excited to see what she does. And for the latest wrestling news throughout the day, you can rip it over to cultaholic.com. <laughs> Beyblade, love you, bye. Adam Cole, Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> 